it, I'd like to start this off with a uh, thank you to uh, Sir Percival on the G Talk, GT Talk forums. Um, he was a uh, he's another Gilson Hydro 16 owner who was kind enough to send me pictures. Um, he lives in Sweden. Um, he sent me pictures of his uh, the linkage set up on uh, his carburetor because uh, I'm a dork and did not document that in any way. And it's not quite as straightforward as one might think uh, on these things. But um, thanks to his pictures, I was able to get it set up. Uh, so thank you, Sir Percival. And uh, he's uh, Percy... Uh, Percy Netfolk, I think, is his last name. I, I, it, he's uh, from a town in Sweden. I'm not going to try and pronounce the town, but uh, it's... Yeah, if it'll focus, why would you... Don't focus. Don't do that. Now, well, anyway. Hopefully you can see the town. <clears throat> anyway, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate all your help. Uh, I've removed the carburetor. Uh, it's just leaking too much. So, uh, but see, I got the uh, linkage working at least. See. Um, so, for forty dollars, I ordered another one. Um, it's just not worth the effort to get this one. Um, the emulsion tube in here is um, wedged in there, and it's all buggered up. And uh, I can get it to unscrew about halfway, and then it just freezes up. So, in order to dr I, in order to really fix it, I'd have to drill the emulsion tube out, find a tap to redo the threads, and then find another emulsion tube, put it in. It's it's not worth the effort. I'd rather spend the forty dollars and save myself the time and headache. Uh, so, while I'm waiting for that to come in, I decided to have a go at this. Look at this. There's a pin here, and two bolts. I've been working on a lot of John Deere's lately, the older ones, 90s and 80s, and uh, they just one bolt right here, right? I think I, um, I was on a Sears Craftsman the other day uh, from the 90s, I think 95, 96 Craftsman. Same thing, bolt right here. <laughs> this is back when they made them, boy. The only thing is, I would think this gap here would present, would leave your lawn with a, you know, a section not mowed, right? But we'll see, because once I get this cleaned up and uh, working, um, and um, you know, all spiffed up, uh, I'm going to throw it on the tractor. It should be done by then, and I can uh, give it a try and see. Uh, tires are still good, uh, so I'm just going to clean the bolts up here. Put a little. Uh, I'll grease the wheels. The bearings are a little noisy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'll let the next guy worry about it, because. Other than testing this just to see how it works, you know, I'm never really going to use it. Uh, but I will take the blades off and sharpen them. They're they're really quite. Uh, they they still have an edge on them. They're not. None of them are dinged or dented or bent. So they should clean up real nice. Um, they turn. None of the spindles make any noise and are fairly stiff. They probably need a good oiling. There's an oiler nipple right there. So um, when I take and uh, start working on this, probably this weekend, I'll remove that cover right there that covers the belts, take the belts off, and take these off, and then I'm just going to clean everything up and paint it. The chute comes out underneath the mower, which is kind of, I'm not used to that. I'm used to, you know, having it shoot out one side. Um, but, uh, that is the paint I'm going to use. Yes, rattle can. Uh, I figure I was going to try and use like a truck bed liner on here or something, but I think the grass would just stick to it and make it harder to clean. This has got a nice glossy finish, so that should make it easier to clean up. But I'll get in here with a wire wheel and just take care of that. And then, obviously, there's some rust here. I don't know if you can see it, but... So once I get it all wire wheeled, I will any spots that are still kind of rust like, I've got some uh, rust converter I'll put on there um, before I paint it. Uh, but that's it. That's we're getting there. We're getting down to the wire. Uh, once the carburetor comes in, I'm done with that. 
I can put this back on. I need headlights, but you know what? I'm going to wait on that. Um, I don't need them, actually. But the headlights, the old headlights don't work. So uh, I would like to get working headlights at some point just to have them. But to be honest, the driveway is really well lit. And the only time I'll be driving it at night is to clear snow off the driveway. So I really don't need them. Um, but, again, it would be nice to have. Uh, but short of that, that's all that's left. So these are the three problems I had. Um, this one was the first one I ordered, which I didn't realize needed points for this one. And you know, for those who don't know, there's no pickup here. See how this got the metal pickup? No pickup. And oftentimes it, the gap here is the same on this side. That, you know, like this part isn't here. That's generally a sign that that requires points. If you have a 16 horse Briggs that, um, I guess up to six, from eight to 16 horse, this one fits uh, with points and you need something like that. Uh, I think this is the part number for it, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Oh well, uh, 298968 is the Briggs and Stratton part number for that. So that one's going back to uh, Repair Clinic. I ordered the wrong one from them. This one uh, I got on Amazon. This is the one I was uh, trying to get to work that wouldn't. It looks just like this one, which is the original one that came off of it. But if you notice, the lead here is different. This has a little wire coming off of it. So I'm not sure what makes this different. But uh, that's going back to uh, Amazon. Get my money back on that. That, of course, is the original one that I've tested over and over. It's just it's, it's toast. The magic smoke came out on that one. That's what was smoking. And this is the one that I got that actually works. The part number for this one is, uh, it's not going to focus either, 398811. Made in Argentina, surprisingly enough. It's obviously not a Briggs & Stratton part, but you know what? Progress, right? Progress. Carb came in. Looks good. Uh, it's a manual choke, but uh, I'm probably not going to use it at all. But if I want to hook up the choke cable, it's just a matter of running it from here, putting a little hole here, and hooking it up. Um, but I might, for now, I'm just going to leave it manually. Given that the tractor is going to be in the garage, um, I probably don't even really need the choke. So, took the wheels apart, cleaned them up. The bolts. I don't know what these were. They're not grade 8, but there's no markings on them. But they were bent so bad that I couldn't get these sleeves off. So went out and bought some grade 8 bolts. Should work. Uh, help hold up that heavy deck. And uh, what else do we got? Oh, yeah. So took the putty knife, got all the dead grass off, and couple of wire wheels and just went crazy uh, and then got some uh, got some um, lacquer thinner and just cleaned it all off and um, the rust that was left behind was just I couldn't get to really so um, just sprayed the whole thing with the Rust-Oleum's rust transformer I like the stuff it works well and uh, once you paint it uh, it seems to keep the rust at bay so like so, and I'm going to paint this orange just so that um, makes cleanup easier. And then over here I got our microwave died, so that's going to go in the next uh, e-cycle pickup. So I got the uh, uh, mower plates all sharpened, balanced, and painted and ready to go. So we're getting there, little by little. Um, so yeah, painting. Next. Uh, and I think that's just, that's it for this one. There's the bottom all finished. Um, so that spray paint I used, uh, this stuff here. That's uh, oil based, which I did not know. So I'm kind of glad I covered everything up because uh, the entire garage is covered in orange dust. So, yeah, that's great. So now I just need to flip it down, clean it up, and do the other side. Uh, today's Friday, so 
I might might actually, when this goes live, uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, I might actually have a writing video on it yet. We'll see. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I have the new carb on here. Right now it's just loosely on there. i got to run the cables and such. So, But later today I'll get that fixed. Um, so the reason uh, that's going to happen later today and not now, because it's, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning, um, is uh, because of, the, of an interesting story. And um, I'll go into that now. So, first, let's start by saying, Captain Jerk, appreciate the rain. Uh, two to three inches last night. Thunderstorms in the moon, like 3 a.m., just waking everybody up. Uh, when I said to send some rain our way, boy, you sure delivered, and we're under a flash flood warning for later today. We got another round of heavy rain coming, so yay. So, enough. We're good. We're good. That six inches were short, we're probably good now. So, call off the dogs. Interesting story. I've been emailing a IT manager at a um, software development company in uh, Milwaukee. After a few emails, I gave him my resume. And he replied back, oh, yeah, I went to the same high school as you did. Now, we, the high school we went to is about 40 minutes south of here. And he's an hour north. So that was kind of, I thought that was kind of interesting. And then he's like, uh, so he told me where he grew up. Uh, I told him where I grew up. And he's like, yeah, that's the street right behind where you grew up. And I'm like, no kidding. So I looked, and sure enough, it was the house, uh, was the street directly behind where I grew up um, as a kid. We hung around at the uh, game world, which... I'd completely forgotten about until he mentioned it. And uh, so uh, we we're getting ready to set up a Skype session uh, for either later today or maybe next week. We haven't decided. Um, just to kind of do a fa you know inter interview through Skype because he wants to see, you know, he's not said yet that they have anything available, but um, it's. I think he does because he. I don't think he'd go to this length but anyway um so um i'm adding him as my skype contact and i see he lives in the same town i'm <laughs> like no kidding so i emailed him and said uh according to skype we live in the same town and he's like oh yeah i live over you know here and i'm like son of a gun we're within spitting distance of each other <laughs> so it's just crazy how small the world can be sometimes huh um same high school. Well, he graduated in 78. I graduated in 81. So we didn't, ha you know, we probably didn't see each other much, if at all, in the hallways um, at the high school or even below that. Um, anyway, it's just, I thought that was a rather interesting story that out of all of that, turns out, <laughs> you know. So we'll see how it comes out. Uh, I would, the, it's a, uh, it's a great company. I would love to work for them. I, I just don't know if they have anything for me. So, uh, But anyway, I'm going to Skype with them later. So I don't want to do anything with that yet because i got to paint the other side. And because it's so hot and humid outside, it's like 90s. And just, well, you saw it's raining and it's just super humid. So if I want to finish this this weekend, what I'm going to have to do is drop this down on the tarp and paint it in here, which, fair enough. But I came in after painting that yesterday and my wife said I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so those of you who don't know what an Oompa Loompa is, look it up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't want to do that again. So I uh, brought in a box fan. I got another one in the house. I'm going to put them in the doorway, and as soon as I start spraying, they'll go on high. Hopefully that will pull most, if not all, of the uh, overspray out and, you know, not make things worse in here. But uh, I'm not even going to attempt any of that until after... I find out if we're doing Skype or even a face-to-face -to -face, um, today. Because I told him, since we live, you know, within walking distance of each other, you know, if you just want to sit and have coffee Saturday or Sunday or whatever and just talk, that's an option if he wants to do it. So we'll see. He hasn't gotten back to me, but we'll see what he chooses. So anyway, that's my story for the day. <laughs> so anyway.
Thanks for listening. Okay, she's back together. Uh, honestly, technically, I could, um, I could uh, hook the snowplow up and be good. Hang on. I could hook the snowplow up and be good. Uh, but it is a couple issues uh, still that I'm dealing with. Um, one is the carb is still leaking. Brand new carb, right? Well, they all come that way. Some uh, resellers will fix the leak before they ship it out, but most don't. So I'll have to fix that. The uh, tire keeps going flat, uh, the one I just put on there. Uh, but it, I, I'm after giving it a quick once over I'm fairly certain it's just the rim is so messed up that it's just not going to hold air but that's fine um, I'll just order an inner tube for it it'll be fine uh, the headlights don't work although I did find use for my uh, LEDs nah just kidding I, I just put them in there to make sure my light switch worked but uh, yeah <laughs> so um <clears throat> But, all in all, you know, it's pretty much done. Uh, obviously not a gold start. It's obviously not a cold start, uh, but uh, it was about an hour ago the last time I ran it, so. Um, so, I mean, it runs pretty good. It's a little vibrate I it needs, it needs a little... These a little love. So, uh, the backfire, that's just normal. It does this until it warms up. Uh, part of the problem is the gas in it's old and needs to be refreshed. I mean, it's pretty yellow, so that tells me it's really pretty old. So, I'll just try it. I'll get some new gas in there. But uh, overall, it's done. I, I would have done this outside. I would have gotten a better, but it's 90-some uh, degrees with a heat index of 104 and... 70% uh, relative humidity, something like that. So, uh, and it's raining on and off. So, um, I'll be right back. That was my daughter calling, so that was the interruption. Uh, honestly, forgot where I left off. Doesn't matter. Uh, so this is the uh, what the top of the uh, mower deck looks like. Um, so a lot of cleaning to do here, more than I thought. Um, I also need to take this cover off and make sure there's no grass or anything binding up in there. So, um, this might get done this weekend, but probably not till late Sunday. So I'm going to kind of wrap this video set up here. Um, hopefully next week when I really uh, put up the video, it will be of me riding around on that thing. Um, and if I am... Uh, I'll certainly put my uh, glasses on and record it. Um, uh, if I have this done and on there, and I give it a test, uh, I'll I'll certainly try and record that or get my daughter to record it while I'm riding around. Um, but then that'll conclude it. So, uh, sorry that this one's so long, but it's just uh, nature of the beast and. Um, uh, hopefully there'll be another one that'll be a little shorter, but then that'll be it. Then it'll only be, um, uh, writing videos for a while anyway, uh, until I start doing other stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. So just one more. I took the cover off and I'm glad I did. Holy moly. That belt needs to be replaced and all that grass needs to go. 
and uh, was rubbing in here apparently. But not, not on this one so much. So, there'll be a little work to be done there. And uh, two of the bolts broke off. One here, and this one here. So, I'll have to try and get some easy outs and get those out of there. Ah, yikes. See this thing fighting me every step of the way. <laughs> and I'm not even going to use this, but I want it clean for um, when, if ever I get rid of it or if I ever get a place where I need it, you know. So, all right, later. This is the last, uh, I wasn't going to do this today, but I finished it Sunday night. So, thought I'd just throw this up here. I'm going to let this sit a couple days and dry up um, before I put it on the mower. But, yeah, the grass is growing because we've had rain for the last couple days. So, uh, I'm just going to let it grow, and then, uh, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, uh, I'll hook this puppy up and see how she does. Uh, the only reason I'm at all concerned about it is because uh, my wife and I are talking about moving next summer when my daughter graduates high school, and I could wind up with a big yard that needs a big tractor, so mm, I could wind up using this. I won't, I'm not going to be able to use it here, but yeah, maybe. It didn't turn out quite as quite as nice as I had hoped, but it's not bad. It's not, not portable. And uh, this stuff. Love-hate relationship with this stuff, let me tell you. Uh, it, um, it's an oil-based and there's a lot of overspray. But when it's on there and it's done, it feels like glass. I mean, it almost feels like a powder coating. And uh, here, I'll give you an idea here. Turn this off soon you don't get the wind but if you look you can see <laughs> I didn't I forgot to turn it off the last spray this dust that's just that's on there that's not coming off that's just that is not coming off and uh, it's on the filter I can't get it off of that so you can see it in here my fault for leaving it on but you get the idea uh, and that's about I don't know almost 10 feet away so that's why I covered everything I could possibly cover and uh, still manage. I'm going to spend probably a good week cleaning orange dust off of everything <laughs> well, as much as I can. Um, so, anyway. So, hope everybody has a good week. Sorry this video is so long again, but uh, there'll be one more after this uh, me riding it around um, uh, mowing, hopefully, uh, probably next weekend. So, uh, but that one will be shorter. So, okay, later.